The lack of fast internet access and dependence on cell phones only to get online perpetuates disadvantages that have lifelong consequences. Coelho Center and Merit Networks partner with rural Michigan school districts to understand how gaps in home internet access affected these communities. We found that only 53% of students who live in small town or rural areas have fast access to the internet at home. Regardless of family income or parental education, students who did not have access to the internet or were dependent on a cell phone performed lower on a range of metrics. They were also less likely to plan to attend college or university. Students with high-speed home internet access had overall grade point averages that were a half letter grade higher, the difference between a B and a B minus average. Students with faster home internet do more educational activities online from home and of day-to-day -day exposure to a range of other online activities, many of which are not taught in school. Higher digital skills were related to higher scores on pen and paper standardized tests like the SAT. Some suggest that students can get by through the use of only a cell phone. We found that those who rely on a cell phone only experience as large or larger gaps in performance. Inequalities in income, race, and education are often used to explain why some people still do not have internet access from home. But family income is only one reason why students might not be online. Many don't have opportunity because they live in small towns, rural areas, and on farms. If internet access is available, it can be slow, and cell phone service can be spotty and congested. Lower grades and weaker standard test scores reduce students' chances to qualify for scholarships and to get admitted to a university. Lower interest in post-secondary education and STEM careers decreases lifelong income opportunities and the ability to compete for jobs in occupations where future demand is high. For the full report, please go to broadbandgap.net.